Hey everyone, JV here. I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial for TO Pro. This is going to be a basic tutorial essentially for people that are new to the program or have only tried it out once or twice. For more of our advanced tutorials, check out our YouTube page or TOPro.com where we will have advanced tutorials for hotkeys and some of the various tricks and advanced features for the program. So without further ado, let's kick this off. I've pre-generated some of uh, the responses to try to make this video as quick as possible rather than type it in so a lot of this you'll type in yourself but you see that I've pre-generated some of it so uh, this is the first page you'll see when you load TO Pro it's your tournament details you're gonna fill in what is the name of the tournament I named this one Tornado of Awesome because that is an awesome name uh, where will it be held my place so this is essentially your venue you know if it's at a university or a field or you know arena or wherever you're just going to put that in uh, the tournament start date will say it's a two-day tournament starting on saturday the 8th and ending on sunday the 9th and the tournament organizer that's where you'll put your name and you're just gonna click add event from there and uh, after you do this you're going to put in an events title a lot of times this will be the same as your tournament but if you're running multiple events or tournaments within this kind of wider scope then you would put this so let's say we're doing a round robin or a double elimination seating into a larger one we'll say double elim seating smash and what game will be played we'll say super smash brothers melee because that's the game i got my start in competitive and Hold it pretty near and dear to the heart. So we'll say it's a singles event, it's double elimination, and it will start Saturday. So then you'll add it, and uh, now if you go to this events tab, and you'll be able to see the double elimination seating smash, and you can continue to add events, and it will all show up under your event tabs under the save TO profile up here where you can save and load it. So the, the Tornado of Awesome, we could have you know six or seven different events and every time you would add an event it would show up in this tab and you can manage all the tournaments individually uh... the station manager that you don't have to use this but it's one of the coolest and most powerful features for TO and really when you're running large tournaments or have a lot going on it, it makes a, a world of difference so uh... just to keep this one simple we're just gonna say we have four stations um... they are televisions and it will just insert them into our station manager based on how many we do. So now we have to go to our actual tournament. Oops. And right here you'll see the tournament title, all this stuff that you filled in before. Um, this is where you have the option of using your station manager or not. Um, we are going to see people by location for the sake of this. And we're going to score as a simple... Actually, we're going to score as a best of three. So best of three, and you can change this to be a best of five or seven. You can do points. If you want to do points, um, just win or loss or loser if it's a simple advancement, whatever suits your tournament the best. So we're going to do a best of three. We're going to say we have an entry fee of $20. We have a house cut of zero because we are very generous in our free make-believe tournament at least. And uh, we will do a modified 60-30-10 payout. And all this pot entry stuff, um, they will do all the metric calculations within the tournament. But if for some reason you don't have an entry fee or you don't use this or you want to do some other kind of method and you can do custom payouts or winner takes all or whatever you want, um, you can leave all this blank. All this stuff is essentially optional to run your tournament. So we are going to see by location. And we, here's where you create a bracket, but uh, to create a bracket you need to actually do your entrance first. A lot of times if you're managing a tournament before you even do a lot of this you'll go to your players tabs and kind of check people in as they come in and put them into your players tab and will automatically put them into your entrance so uh, we'll say we're just going to do an eight person double elimination event to make this run somewhat fast so we're going to have to come up with aliases for everyone uh, and I guess in tribute of hockey being locked out and it being my favorite sport, we're just going to use hockey teams. So the first team we'll say is the Maple Leafs. And they are from Toronto. And then you just hit enter and they will insert and then you can go to your next team. So we'll do the Sabres for Buffalo, but we're also going to put them in Toronto so we can have two people from each location uh, in terms of region seedings. We'll do the Red Wings. Location uh, Michigan. Uh, we'll do the Wild, the 
Minnesota and also Michigan. We'll do Bruins, Boston, we'll do the Rangers, and for all you New York people are going to hate me, but I'm going to put you from Boston as well. We're going to do the Predators, and we will, you guys are from Nashville, so we'll just do Nashville. And that brings us to seven, so we need one more team. Uh, we'll do the Stars, and they will be from Nashville too. So here you'll see our entire list of the entrants and however many entrants or people you have and you can you know put the real name or the email if you want to log that data too but I'll save into the TO file, TO file so you can reference them later and uh, anytime you click on someone you can adjust their you know their skill or if you got a location wrong and you want to add an email or a name later you can do that all by clicking on their name. So let's go back to our event. Um, entrance. Here's all the people we inserted and we can just add them all. So I'm just going to select them all and then click add. And then here's our event. We have regions or locations put down for each of these guys. We'll see them on opposite sides of the bracket so they cannot play until the winner's finals. And so you go to details and we have all this already inserted and um, dictated. So we're just going to go ahead and create our bracket. So here's what your bracket will look like. Uh, you know, winners goes this way, losers goes this way. We have this set as a best of three and here's your station assignments down here so let's we're going to assign each of these to the stations so we're going to say this one's we're going to schedule it we're going to put it on station one we're going to put this one on station two we're going to put this one on station three we're going to put this one on station four and if you were a tournament host you know calling off your rounds you would say rangers and stars to tv number one wild and maple leafs to tv number two bruins and predators to tv number three and so on and so forth and uh the cool thing about the station manager was actually log all the metrics to go along with it so it'll tell you you know when i click back on this one it, it was scheduled zero minutes ago so if a match is taking 28 minutes or 30 minutes or you know whatever game or format you're playing if it, it seems like it's dragging on you you know you can send someone over to check on it or Make sure the TV's free, make sure, you know, if the match is finished up that someone reported to you, or if they didn't, you need to find them, and it, it just gives you a lot of really cool metrics, and right here at the bottom, you'll see all my TVs are in use, so it lets me know that our tournament's running as efficiently as possible. So we're going to go ahead and go back to some of these we assigned and pick a winner for each of those. We're going to go the Rangers one, the best of 3-2-0. We're going to go the Maple Leafs one, 2-1. Two, one. We're going to go the Predators, Lost 2-0, and the Red Wings definitely won 2-0. So there you go. So this will fill it out, and you're going to continue to populate your bracket like this, and you'll be able to see Station 4, 3, 2, 1 are all free now, and you can reassign them to whatever station you want. So we're going to assign, you know, Station 3. And then every time, you know, a match completes, it will mark the station as being free now, and you can advance along your bracket like this. One. And you can do all this bracket manipulation via hotkeys. It actually is much more efficient um, than actually clicking. I'm going to go through that in a different tutorial. Uh, it makes a big difference as you become more familiar with the program to be able to hotkey through your entire bracket. And um, it's extremely powerful. I've ran a lot of tournaments in a lot of places, and uh, it's a very, very powerful tool. So uh, we're going to continue to finish this bracket. Rangers, you guys can make a comeback and go to the finals to ultimately lose to the Red Wings. And there you go. So our, our tournament's done. Right here, you'll be able to see the results tab, and it'll populate all the scores. Um, you can copy this to a clipboard. Uh, you can use HTML or bulletin board for formatting. You can do metrics to estimate. You know, right here, it will tell you the bracket started at. 124 p.m. It ended at 126. The actual time of completion, and you know, it estimated. It will estimate based on your rounds and the game and stuff. It's some pretty cool, and you can change, you know, the metrics to suit your event if you're playing something where matches take, you know, 60 minutes or you know, 90 minutes for an hour and a half or 15 minutes. You can um, adjust that, and then you can, you know, adjust your efficiency value too um, based on how. Um, consistent you're going to be with your tournament if you're taking breaks if you're you know running matches non-stop so this is uh, your entire metric calculator here's your results 
Um, there's your station manager players, and here is your entire TL Pro basic tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any feedback or questions, uh, feel free to fill it in our YouTube comment section. We're going to look to continue to improve our tutorials and resources to make sure everyone that uh, has a copy of TO is using it to its fullest potential. It, it is the best program out there, so we want to make sure you guys um, are breaking through kind of the barriers of entry and learning the program and really using all the power features. So thank you for tuning in, and uh, thank you for checking out TO Pro.